from what I read, I mean, you've described law school as coming pretty easy for you, right? Almost to the extent that you're like, you're sitting in the back of the room playing online poker and then you're still making great grades. <laughs> uh, was, was that always the case? Like, wh where was the struggle? That, that's what I want to hear about. I mean, yeah, the struggle's real. Like, there's times where, I mean, college was tough because we couldn't, my brother and I couldn't really want to afford it. My dad took out a lot of union loans to get us through there. Um, because it was expensive. We had some scholarships, but we were working two or three jobs all the way through college, eating ramen noodles and eggs, going on those dollar McDonald's menus, buying like 10 cheeseburgers, keeping them in a little mini fridge, that kind of stuff. Um, eating pizza out of trash. You know, I'm not too, I still kind of do that, right? If somebody throws something out, it's too early. But coming out to law school, why, I mean, I didn't know you knew all this, but it was kind of easier for me. And this was the reason why, um, I wasn't happy. The first year of law school, you have to sign a contract with most law schools say you don't work anywhere else. You have to concentrate on this first year. And I was like, it was the first time in my life where I didn't have like two or three jobs. I can concentrate on one thing. And I was like, this is fucking easy. Like I'm not playing sports. I'm just doing time management. I was in the best shape of my life because I had like time to work out and do things. I was like, this is pretty easy. So I did really well my first year. Um, but I think this, this struggle comes where the second struggle came was – when I went out on my own um, and having a lot of unpredictable, I mean, you don't know, like I didn't have a lot of money. I didn't come from a lot of money. I didn't take out any loans. It was, you know, really had to strive that business. If you're a personal injury. You sign up a case. You're not going to get paid for sometimes three, four years if you're, if you're going the distance on it. Um, so there was times, you know, where there was a lot of ebb and flow where we just take my brother and I took huge chances. And like, fuck it, they just rent this big office building, sublet it out and grow into it. That's just, we think we can make it work. What's the worst thing could happen? Like we can go work for another firm anytime we want. Um, and then there's a, when another big struggle is about three or four years in after I had hit a few big verdicts, but they were on appeal. But we had all these cases come through the door because people wanted me to try their cases. We couldn't say no to them. And, but we were, my brother and I literally, I think for one or two years, we didn't take any money. Like. We had no money coming in because we we're just waiting. It was on appeal, waiting to get paid. And we wanted to invest the money that came in into other things to buy to get employees and things. So that's where – and then after one case paid on appeal and the next one did and then all the – then that crest of that wave hit and it's been fucking fantastic ever since. But, man, you just got to believe it and, and go for it.